else. Please, please stop making this mistake. Stop falling into the trap of being a woman's rebound. Here's what I mean. A lot of you guys are investing time and energy into women who use you as rebounds. You see what I'm saying? I get emails, tons of emails and messages. And this was probably, I would say this is probably one of the main questions I get or one of the main problems that guys have. Out of 100%, probably 70, 75% of the time is this. Guys are getting with women and then the woman ghosting them and going back to the ex or going back to the baby daddy or going back to her family. This is the trap of the rebound. You guys have to understand that when women get out of a situation, when women get out of a situation, most women aren't going to take time to heal. They use somebody else to replace or, 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 or to, to make themselves feel better or to get over the hurt and vulnerability that they're going through with the guy who they just broke up with or who just dumped them or who they dumped or who they cheated on and shit like that. So they use, they typically use another guy you know what I'm saying? Another body to replace just to hide those feelings for something to do to, to you know, to, to boost their self-esteem and to raise their self-esteem back up. You get what I'm saying? You guys have to stop. You guys have to stop falling for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Understand this, right? And this is very important. Most women that you meet, I mean, most women that you meet, sorry, most women that you meet will have some type of emotional connection to somebody else. Most women, 90, 95% of the time, they will have some type of emotional connection to somebody else. So, you know what I'm saying? They may not be in a relationship, but they have a connection. They're going through hurt. You know what I'm saying? Or they fucking somebody else. Or they have a maintenance man. Or they have guys that they're talking to. But most women that you meet will have an emotional connection to somebody else you get what i'm saying so understand that when you meet a woman and the woman give you some air time or she give you the you know the time of day or she she open herself up for you to talk to her somebody somewhere has screwed up you know what i'm saying understand this you always have to realize this when you talk to women somebody somewhere has screwed up you rarely get a find an instance where a woman has just has just been celibate and, you know, not dealing with anybody and, and, and taking the time to get to know herself and focusing on, you will rarely find it. That shit like that is very, very rare. Most women that you meet have somebody or a commo uh, uh, emotional connection to somebody. Always understand that. You guys get with these girls, get with these women and it feel good. The sex is great. They all submissive and shit like that. They're all open emotionally and it feels good to you and it sparks is flying and you ready to just invest it all. Invest all of your time. Invest all of your feelings. Invest all of your fucking emotions. You know what I'm saying? And guess what happens? Her baby daddy call her, right? Or her ex-boyfriend call her or her ex-husband or whatever or the guy that she was dealing with call her back and say, I miss you and it's over for you. It's a wrap. All that time you spent, all that energy you put into her, all of your efforts is gone down the drain after two months, three months and shit because you went head first and you didn't make the chick prove herself with consistency. That's why it's important. That's why I tell you guys, make chicks prove themselves with consistency. And over time, the more she's investing into you, the more she's putting into you, the more effort and energy she's putting into you that up those other people, if you that dude, and if she like you, and if it's, if it's not just, you know, you're not just a filler, then eventually those people will fade away and she'll be a hundred percent invested in you. It's ideal to find somebody though, who's been, he, who, who's been taking some time to themselves. And when you meet them, they don't have any emotional baggage. That's the ideal situation. And that's what you should shoot for. But if you're going to be dealing with a woman, in most cases, make her prove herself through consistency, consistent good behavior, cons consistent investment in you, consistent treating you right consistently over time, six months to a year, before you even think about developing any type of emotions or investing your money, your time, or even taking her serious. For me, it takes at least a year for me to even start to take a chick serious because I know the game. I know that when I met her, she was dealing with somebody 
or see her heart was broke or she was getting over this or, you know, she may have got out of a situation three months ago. She had some emotional connection to somebody somewhere. So I know this and I know that what it takes. So a chick needs to show me before I even begin to even take her serious for the idea of even being like a main chick or some shit like that. I need consistency and you guys must require the same. Ask questions and shit. You know, when you're on dates, you know, you guys have to ask questions and, and, and vet these women. And understand, right? Women are going to lie and say things and make themselves look good because a lot of women know the game. Even like inherently they know, even if they're not conscious of it. So they know to say certain things. So a lot of guys ask basic questions, you know, shit like, when was your last relationship? Or when was the last time you, you've been in a relationship? And she'll tell you two years ago. That may be true and you thinking, okay, she's clean. But she's not telling you that she has an emotional connection to her her cut buddy or her mo uh, uh, or her maintenance man and he don't really want to be with her and they've been fighting and she's trying to you know get her get him out of her head or she's trying to move on and she just screwed him a week ago but that's not her boyfriend and they technically were not in a relationship they don't tell you that so you instead of asking them when was your last relationship or when was your last boyfriend, you ask them, well, when was the last time you had an emotional connection to anybody? When was the last time you liked anybody? You see what I'm saying? If you want to take it serious with them, if you see them as relationship material or even somebody you want to put in a main spot for your rotation, ask them shit like that. And even then, they'll find a way to lie. But that question is very unique and just by... When you ask them that, they'll give you a certain look or reaction. And then you know you have your answer. You dig what I'm saying? But always, always, always make sure, you know what I'm saying, you vet in these women to see what's up with them. If you're going to take them serious like that. Don't just go head first in. And when they tell you, a lot of girls will tell you, oh, I just broke up with my dude. Or I just got out of a divorce. Or I'm separated. And a lot of guys, <laughs> it boggles my mind. A lot of guys will take chicks like this serious. I get these emails all the time. Yo, King Dre, I, I met this chick. She was going through a divorce. And then, you know, three months later, she goes to me. What happened? Fool, what happened was you were a placeholder. You see what I'm saying? So if a, fe a female tell you she just got out of a, a, relationship, a relationship or she separated or she just filed a divorce, this is a woman who's vulnerable and more than likely about to go through a whole phase. Don't be the simp to cuff her and use her uh, and let her use you to boost up her self-esteem again, to boost up her confidence and you simping and all that shit. And she pretty much going through a whole phase. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the post relationship whole phase that most women will go through. You see what I'm saying? Because you thinking that you can take somebody else's, you know, so when somebody, you know, they break up, you can scone and scoop them in and then no, 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 no. It don't work like that. And a lot of times you guys invest everything you have and then the chick end up leaving your ass in three, four months and they on to the next or they back with the ex dude. So when they tell you shit like that, you do not take them serious. I just, I'm single. I'm recently single. Uh, you know, I'm separated or I just got to do this. I just got out of a divorce. Do not take them serious whatsoever. It's going to bite you in your ass. I promise you that. I'm telling you guys time and time and every day I get 10, 20, 30, 40 emails and DMs with the same things and i said fuck it and y'all guys know i ain't been making like videos like this in a while i've been using my old live streams and chopping them up but i just had to i got fucking tired of it i had to make a video and i'm probably gonna start making videos like this again by the way for the guys that have been following me but uh but for guys stop falling into the trap of a woman's rebound when you meet her trust me when i tell you she has some type of connection to some man somewhere when you meet her, somebody fucked up. Some dude messed up somewhere. Some dude ain't giving her what she want or giving her attention or whatever. Somebody is violating in her mind. And she is, is opening herself up. Understand that. Make chicks go through the process of proving themselves before you jump head first into them. Do you guys understand that? Please take this serious and it will save you a lot of hurt and it will save you a lot of pain. A lot of you, you'll save a lot of time. You'll save a lot of money and energy. Trust me. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you don't know me, this is your gracious game advisor. Yours truly. 
King Dre. And like I said, um, you know, I haven't been making these type of videos in a while, but I think we're going, I'm going to crank these back up. You know what I'm saying? Let y'all, you know, see my face and, and, and get back on this camera and put my, start putting my face back out there again. But, um, guys, y'all already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the uh, notification bell. That way you can get this good player shit fresh off the press. Y'all know my slogan, playerism is the antidote to feminism. If you've been following me, y'all guys know I have a term that I, I use called whole flu. You know what I'm saying? And I'll do a video about it. But basically, I have the I have whole flu antibodies. You know what I'm saying? And this is when women do something wrong. You know, they, they, they try to weasel out of accountability and they start acting like they're sick. Well, I have the t-shirt, the whole flu antibodies to let these hoes know that you ain't falling for the whole flu. You know what I'm saying? So go get that. I'm going to leave the link in the description. Also, guys, go get uh, both of my courses, Attraction 101 and How to Make a Woman Fall in Love and Obsess Over You. And like I said, guys, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. This is King Drake. I'm gone.